Riding in an antique wooden boat is considered by many as a timeless experience. However, the hidden history in a vessel's wooden beams can sometimes be even more extraordinary. Local author David Coons and his co-author Bill Simpson set out to detail this history for the world's largest runabout, Pardon Me, which is now housed at the Antique Boat Museum in Clayton, New York. Coons, however, was not inspired to detail this boat's over 70-year-long history without a cause. The boat was first commissioned at the end of World War II by his great-uncle, Charles Lyons. Following this build, the boat went through five different owners in four decades. These were the stories that Coons and Simpson set out to tell. Each chapter is about each of these guys who own the boat and their, what they did for work and then, you know, their time with the boat. But Coons ultimately said that these were stories he always wanted to know and share, especially when the boat was housed in Michigan under a different name. The book's co-author and novelist Bill Simpson has also had a long history with the boat, as he first saw Pardon Me on the St. Lawrence River in the 1970s. He said writing a book about the boat was an idea that's been on the table for years, and which is why he also pushed Coons to spearhead the project. We talked about doing a book about that boat. Uh, the history of it, the crazy people who owned it. So, you know, it just seemed like a very logical step after the first Wooden Boats book to uh, take a shot at this one. One of the reasons that I, that I wanted Dave to, to, you know, find the confidence and, and actually do the writing, you know, to do the research and do the writing, uh, because it's a huge part of his family's connection to the island. And although Pardon Me has been on display in the Thousand Islands since it was donated to the Antique Boat Museum by its final owner, Jim Lewis, the book aims to preserve those small stories that Coons and Simpson say make the boat so special. The boat's really impressive to see in person. Like a picture, you know, doesn't really do it justice. I've been writing for 40 years and I, I, I realize more and more that it's the small stories that, that don't appear to have a lot of big impact, they, they are they are the stories that do have a, a big impact. It's, it's why everyone's individual family story is so important. The book on Pardon Me is available for purchase online and in bookstores in the North Country. For ABC 50 Now in Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello. For more local news, go to informnny.com or download the ABC 50 mobile app.